Okay, so um, we're going to look real quick at all the tracks that go through the uh, spinal cord. So, let's draw a nice detailed one here. Do that again. There you go. And so we're going to draw the uh, gray matter here. There you go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to focus on is uh, the dorsal column. So the dorsal column has um, a little indentation here, like that. This is the fasciculus gracilis, and this is the fasciculus cuneatus. Um, the cuneatus has the cervical, cervical, and the gracilis has the ground or the legs. So I think of it as ground. So um, this is obviously fine touch, vibration, two point discrimination, all that. Um, now just kind of looking at the edges, uh, we can first look at the. Um, this is the posterior spinal cerebellar, and this is the anterior. Spinal cerebellar, so this is a posterior cerebellar, and this is an um, anterior, so this is an ascending uh, spinal cerebellar. This is an ascending tract, which uh, gives the appropriate reception to the um, cerebellum, and just medial to that, we have the um, lateral and anterior spinal thalamic. So here, this is a lateral spinal thalamic. And this is obviously skilled movements. And this is the anterior spinal thalamic. <coughs> um, moving on to some descending, more descending tracks. Uh, we have the um, lateral cortical spinal here. And then we have the um, anterior cortical spinal here. So this is the lateral cortical spinal. And um, the legs are here and the uh, arms are over here. So you could just remember the legs are lateral in the lateral cortical spinal. And this is the anterior cortical spinal. So these are the main branches. There are a few smaller ones. Uh, you have the rubrospinal here. Um, so this is the rubrospinal, um, which is responsible for some flexion. Uh, you have the tectospinal here, um, which is for visual uh, thing. You have the vestibulospinal, which is for posture. And then you have the two olivary, um, one right here, one right here. Um, this one is going to be all the spinal, and this is going to be the spinal olivary. And as far as arteries goes, we have the anterior spinal artery here. And we have the two posterior spinal arteries over here.